Today, we are visiting Epic member LaserPoint. LaserPoint manufactures the only sensor capable of directly measuring the pulse energy of a laser with a repetition rate of one megahertz. This is amazing. Yes. Is this what we're describing right here? Correct. This is the sensor itself, and this is the specific electronic developed for it. Wait, so this is the sensor? Correct. Okay. The laser is shine on that active area. It is connected to these electronics and will read the power and the energy on the computer. So I would use this because let's say I'm doing some precision manufacturing. I want to double check of my laser's power output, correct? Correct. There are specific applications where you need to carefully check that the energy of the laser is within certain specification. And this is the sensor that allows this kind of measure. So what that means is, let's say I have a problem on my production line. With your tool, I'm able to diagnose practically immediately if it's the laser energy output. Correct. In real time, you have the feedback if the laser has been uh, shining a different value of the energy, so you might have later a problem in uh, production or quality. So this, you are the only place in the world where I can get a sensor like this, correct? Correct. A, such a fast sensor is uh, a patent of laser point, and we are the only one that can measure up to one megahertz repetition rate. So this, this sensor is a key enabler for the uh, mass adoption of femtosecond laser technology, right? We need something like this, and you're Correct. the only one that can do this. Correct. Ultra fast and ultra short laser have very high repetition rate, and we are the only one that can measure as fast as one megahertz of repetition rate. And the precision of this, from what I understand, like mm -hmm. you are very, this is a reference calibration, right? This is calibrated using a standard reference provided by PTB, the German National Metrology Instrument uh, System, or NIST, which is the US Metrology Laboratory. Wait, NIST and PTB, so your reference standard is based on theirs? Correct, we have our sensors sent to them, they double check and they specify that they measure within a certain very tight accuracy. Wow, so that means laser point. When I purchase a laser point sensor, basically I've got that reference standard in my hands right now. Correct. Actually, it is not the real reference, but it is something measured against that reference. And your precision, from what I understand, like once you measure against that standard, that's pretty much locked in, right? Yes, correct. We specify in our calibration that depending on the model, we are accurate up to plus minus three or five percent of that specific uh, uh, gold standard. OK, this is amazing because it, what I'm learning about you is you're one of these key technology enablers. Like we're not going to mention the names of the big companies, but without your tech, a lot of big operations will not work smoothly, right? Correct. They will not be able to have quality control, for example. They might have problem in uh, application where they do not get the, the quality that, that they are expecting. And with that specific sensor, we give them in real time the measure that they need to be sure that the production is within certain tolerance in terms of quality. Real time quality control. Amazing. Epic members drive the photonics revolution.